Um, I was trying to come up with some sort of so, uh, sort of segue to do with flogging a dead horse, but um, <laughs> I didn't quite make it. Flogging or fucking? Uh, flogging a dead oh donkey, yeah. Um, yeah. which is <laughs> the subject of uh, EO, Ooh. IO or EO. Uh, EO. Is, it, is it based on Eeyore, the donkey from... Winnie yeah, it's Pooh. literally it's I a re- narrative that. retelling of uh, Winnie the Pooh. It's a narrative so. retelling, it's a vague narrative retelling of Ohazad Balthazar mm. by uh, Robert Bresson, a superior filmmaker to yes, yeah, yeah, Scholar. Course. But there's no need to compare the two. Um, uh, but he he has attempted to kind of invoke this, you know, a, a donkey passed, a beleaguered donkey passed between various uh, different situations. Yep. Uh, a film that is is is, is animal centric. Um, it's a stylistic uh, uh, tour de force slash uh, menage. menage slash um, total mess, <laughs> uh, depending on, on, on how you feel. I, I, I was uh, charmed by many of its flourishes. I was hoping at times that it would... It would uh, it's a great Polish trifle. That it would yeah. reach uh, <laughs> a kind of uh, Twin Peaks season three, episode eight sort of symphonic register. There were definitely uh, moments of like strange space sort of galaxy-ish uh, you know attempts at some sort of landscape transcendence mm. uh, drone shots and, and f- red filters and uh, splashing lights and yes it's a film that uh, uh, it rummages in the costume cupboard of, of what does. you can do with film now basically ultimately um, I feel like it, it could have done with a lot of restraint yeah. um, but it's exciting to see something ambitious well, do you by know what? I an think old pro who was always ambitious if you look at even his early Polish work yeah um, like walkover, uh, he, imp- he he has a sort of a, a carnivalesque uh, yeah, approach to because I, I think the thing is the key difference there is, as I said yesterday after the screening, is that Bresson has occupied this space of a somber film about a donkey that is really a projection of the humans and their interactions with this animal. This kind of ha- can't mm-hmm. occupy that space. It has to either you know reduce further or exceed, so it yeah. massively exceeds. And what it does is has and rather than being the donkey being a kind of projection screen for human failings and evilness and sympathy which it is in part no, it's, it's a also much, it's supposed to be but it's also very much donkey. the animal's pov is fully absorbed there are real moments where we are we feel the heavy breathing of the donkey it's also the world as it's seen through his eyes is exaggerated okay. and it's kind of this kind of leo Carax holy motors it's if donna haraway had made a Donkey film. <laughs> Baltasar, you know, it's like <laughs> something none of us need to But see. it does. It's, there's some really great moments where it kind of like, uh, it kind of deconstructs what you're seeing. So that when, when the donkey is kind of beaten savagely by some s- football skinheads, uh, we suddenly see this, this staggering Boston Dynamics robot in red light, which is just flipping oh, and falling funny, around yeah. the floor. It's an incredible moment where he is, yeah, ex- it, you know, deconstructing the animal. And really, there are other moments as well. There's the re- there's this drone shot down these rivers, which is amazing, which is a bird that then drops up mm. the sky. And there, are, it kind of embraces this animal wildness, I think. For me, really it was a way. demonstration of, like, um, the kind of permission and freedom accorded to a filmmaker legend like this, which is mm. actually quite rare for this generation of uh, Polish filmmakers, many of whom now, you know, are still tottering on. Zanussi's still alive, Polanski's still alive. Agnieszka Holland, who we've seen still some alive. of the retrospective of, we actually saw her the other day, is also still alive. Mm. None of them are making interesting films. And so, um, yeah, this was at least it, it is arresting yeah. to see somebody who is, uh, uh, whose eyes and ears are still open. Um, yeah. as much Somewhat as like Godard in a way. Mm-hmm. Godard is making the most eccentric films he's ever made. Yeah, yeah, in the last yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, mm. and, and, and Skolomowski, so like, um, uh, has an enormously stylistically varied mm. output. Oh. I mean, like, the differences between Deep End, The Shout, and Walkabout, which are all made within six years of each other, mm-hmm. is such that if you showed them, I Walk think... Walkover. Walkover, sorry, exactly. Walkabout. Walk <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not going to claim that for him, but... Um, if you showed them to kind of an idle spectator, yeah, you know, they, yeah. wouldn't yeah. they wouldn't Amazing. do it. They wouldn't Amazing. But it is almost like these directors sort of um, uh, kind of, it's almost like, I was thinking it's like they've, they've played, they've, they've finished all the levels of, of filmmaking yeah. and now they've sort of started a, a new game that we haven't really It's on a harder yet. difficulty. That's yeah, what it's said, like you know, he, they've sort of, they've, know, they've figured out like how, like, you know, Godard especially, you know, figured mm. out how to make every different kind of like, But that's the kind of interesting know, thing about it because in a way he film. can do these things where it, 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 that's what I mean. It feels like what we're seeing is kind of a series of collected obsessions and fragments of short films that he's mm. decided to yeah. to uh, kind of add this meat to a skeleton. And the skeleton mm. is a donkey. The, the donkey is largely irrelevant to the film, really. It's how the donkey kind of ping pongs in a way through these spaces. And what is amazing is just, I mean, for good or ill, this kind of bizarre Isabel Huppert 
cameo towards wow, the end with wow, an incestual wow. her incestual relationship with her priest's son. You can see that as a self-contained so stupid. image in his <laughs> I head. Loved, no, right? I love this. It this is, this is Kylie Minogue in Holy Motors. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's yeah. what I mean. It's very. What Kraxian. is she doing there? <laughs> <laughs> like, um, but I think you know there were. I, I think there were real strong moments for me. Not said. I think it, when it embraced that kind of animal magic, that animal wild, I think it was particularly interesting there. It did um, remind me. I don't know if either of you watched it down. Really, it got very watered down. Have either of you seen Andrzej Zdzowski's final film? That was released posthumously. Bird, Bird Talk. Bird Talk's his final one. I saw this and it was completed by his son, and it was, we, we left. I left really? after. Uh, uh, what's the, 40 what's the English title? Bird Talk, movie, something else. Maybe. Twitter. No, I don't mean that one. I mean the one that he directed himself. Uh-huh. Very absurd film. Very, very uh, bad. Uh, yeah, um, Cosmo. Cosmos. 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 Yeah. Cosmos. Cosmos. Very, very, very bad I'm not film. Seen it. Yeah. And again, it felt like he'd, he'd finished he'd finished all the levels on filmmaking and mm. had started some other game. That I mean, Jaworski fell movies. off a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I mean, but this particularly... Let's not talk about Shemanka. This, okay. No, 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 of course. But this particularly had like a, a, a set of variables that I just had no relation to. And it was just this weird sort of farcical It absurdity. was a lot of dessert. It could just be... But again there, no, that was mm. him... Uh, Feeling that having completed all levels, he could he could address you know one of the holy totems of uh, Polish modernism, which is um, oh my god, the fucking name is that escaping me. You can cut this from this. No, no, we keep <laughs> nothing. Um, no, no. Times. Gombrowicz, Gombrowicz, mm. Vital Gombrowicz. He, he, that's the cosmos is uh, right. The, one of his main novels, and uh, to have fucked it up so wildly is, is sort of disgraceful, actually, because you've robbed a younger generation of Polish filmmakers of the chance to, yeah. <laughs> to also adapt. It, you know? But I also think there's there's but there's another there's another level to this, which is he's now Skolimowski is now what, like 82, 83. Mm-hmm. I think when you are that age and you've got this budget at your disposal, the probably the temptation is to go. This might be one of my last big outings. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you kind of go out swinging, and what you do Fair is enough. you pull all the kind of tools out of the toolbox you scatter them around and you just play with them which is right kind of and it was which horrific. is a vastly more interesting use of uh your your time mm. in retirement than and your, and your then reputation yeah, yeah. then you it know do, horrific, doing basically. a polanski and making a, a fucking prestige film about yeah. uh what's the point <laughs> Oh, you know, your keys, yeah. Mm. yeah i mean there have been like late career kind of minor chamber pieces which you know which work with directors, you it know, they kind of go small, or you, you do a kind of Bergman and you do some very minor pieces towards the end of your career that are very closeted. closeted? Funny and Alexander, wait, funny. it's not funny as on, I'm talking about... Um, no, Sarah Brand Brand or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, I right, mean, it, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's good to see an, an elder statesman cruising mm. for a bruising. 